things to you know, support the vulnerable communities. So what I do is I have them on my show to uh, talk about the distribution of... Uh, so this is ABC things. Radio Australia um, on a show on LC90 streaming. So a few of the things that I've noticed on the update to uh, the uh, firmware to 4.6. Um, once again, a lot of people are mentioning that uh, there's actually bricked. Uh, I want to mention, if you are going to do the update, do exactly as I did it. You press, long press the button until it says shut down. When it's shut down, then you press the button until it's powered back up. It's like a restart. Then, then you go into your menu and do the update and mine went um, absolutely well and quite fast. Um, many did it and many also had it go perfectly well so um, I don't know exactly what could be the difference and don't forget you do not touch any buttons, knobs, anything while it's doing the update. Leave it alone. Uh, second, D negative for me on this update is they didn't fix single sideband it's still wrong and it still doesn't work well so hope that when you tune something on single sideband that it already will be on the frequency that will be okay but if you have to fine-tune it forget it you'll never never succeed it it doesn't work um, for the rest, they've added a few things that are interesting. So first of all, you have the logos now of the different broadcasts on the stream, which is really cool. So now this is um, the Australian Broadcasting Corporation logo. And if you go on different other streams, you'll have different logos. Another cool thing is before when you press the menu to get to the different uh, continents, now, saying I want to go to Africa, and uh, I want to find uh, maybe Cape Talk, which is a talk radio station on 567 kilohertz in South Africa. So I'll go down to South Africa on the list. And once I've reached South Africa, here we go. Now, what's new on each country, when you click, before all you had is an eternal list of stations. Now you actually have categories. What do you want from South Africa? Music station, news, podcasts, uh, and so on. There's many different options, and it depends on where and what you're searching for. And every country uh, has a different listing here, except the beginning, which is always music, news, and podcast. So I'm going to choose news. Here we go. And it's going to actually give me a list of all the news talk, news style stations. So let's see here. I want to have 567 Cape Talk. Here you go. Cape Talk is there. I'm pressing. And now I'm supposed to have the Cape Talk coming up. Here we go. Cape Talk. So right now it's some Bon Jovi music. So um, I guess they're in the middle of the night pretty much. Um, so uh, maybe at night is mostly music but it is a talk station uh, most of the time so let's go back to Australia well, how did I find Radio Australia? well I just pressed menu went to the area of the world that I wanted Oceania and here I have chosen in that listing Australia and finally I have chosen news and now you will have the different ABC local radio and stuff. I went down and I found ABC Radio Australia. Uh, not too far, here we go. Number 12. Press and now I'm streaming Radio Australia. So this is great. Uh, it's a, a great improvement over the uh, streaming of stations and finding stations. It helps a lot now uh, because the search, voice search it's not that perfect. It's difficult to handle. Sometimes I'll understand, sometimes it doesn't. So um, at least now it's making it uh, easier through the categories and all of that. 
Um, there's a few more options in the menus and the settings menu, for example, there's um, a, uh, a few more options for the SIM card, things like that. There's, uh, you know, added options in different menus that you might have there. So this is kind of cool. They've, they've handled that. They've uh, made the search to stations a little faster, a little easier. Um, the comments I see most is that a lot of people find that a lot of the streaming stations aren't working. You know, uh, even my St. GN WFR32, which is much more, ex well, it's almost as expensive as this, except that it's an internet radio only. Um, lots of the streaming doesn't work well. It's the aggregator most of the time that is at fault because they are using an aggregator, there are links there, and the links to stations might not work well. So, uh, yeah, there's there's stuff that doesn't work, but you know, a lot of stuff work um, on, on, on it. And of course, if you have the Mini, the Mini also has 4.6, has the same options that are added. Uh, for example, here, this is uh, ORF, Austria's main channel. Uh, which was Radio Austria when, back in the day uh, that, on shortwave. So right now it's some music. And the same options apply to the Mini. Uh, Mini being very, you know, it's the same radio, it's just that it's smaller uh, and more compact, uh, but, but brings the same, um, the same options, the same shortwave capabilities and so on. So 4.6 does improve the radio on the uh, internet and smart radio side, definitely. Uh, boy, I would have wished it would have fixed a single sideband because it would have even pushed this radio even higher in the listing of my favorite radios. Um, I still like it, but man, if Shoyang is watching, do understand. Uh, I'll send you a video if you want of a good working radio on single sideband versus your radio. If you could fix that, and I'm sure it's fixable in a firmware update because Texan radios had that flaw where the tuning was reversed and they simply updated the firmware and it fixed it so I'm sure they could fix it with a firmware update here who knows maybe 4.7 uh, but there's some improvements all around uh, in the uh, in the uh, menus and the different things with uh, the new firmware I'm pretty happy to have applied it to the radio if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, thank you for watching.